In today's episode, I'm talking about the latest line of fragrances from Spanish fashion brand Zara. There's four different ones in the collection, and the collection goes by the name of Chapter One. I'll be breaking each one of these down one by one and letting you know in order which one I like the most through to the least favourite of the four. So without further ado, let's dive in and let's see what these are all about. Welcome to Mags Frags. Yes, hello again everybody and thank you very much for tuning in to this latest episode of Mags Frags. I'm Paul and today I'm taking a look at the latest collection of fragrances from Zara called Chapter One. These can be found in the menswear section of the store, but if there's any women watching, please don't click off this video just yet because these are very unisex. There's uh, chapters one, two and three in the woman's collection, uh, but so far this is the only chapter that's been released uh, so far for the men's department. All the fragrances in chapter one are different interpretations of fresh fragrances and all come in a 100ml bottle size and they're also in an eau de parfum concentration. They retail at £17.99 each, so if you were to buy all four variations of these, it would cost you just £71.96, which is less than you'd pay for a single bottle of uh, a designer brand, so really good value for money. Yeah, they're all presented pretty much identical apart from the name um, of the fragrance and they all come in like a white minimalistic white box with chrome branding on the front. The bottles, um, are, however, are really, really nice quality and they just feel really heavy and well made. You get the uh, chrome, chrome branding on the front and you also get this chrome click on cap which is really it's uh, it's very well made and it clicks on really really securely so you can easily pick that one up by the by the bottle um we've got this white insert at the top it's like a gloss white uh, plastic insert which looks quite nice and you've also got uh, some more chrome that runs it's like inserting into the uh, shoulder of the bottle there the spray quality is really nice and yet just for, for £17.99 it's absolutely uh, a steal, they feel really well made, uh, really well presented. Yeah, so first up is one called Infinite Wave and this one is the most aquatic one out of the four. The prominent notes in this one are Mandarin Orange, Sage and Vetiver and I'd say the fragrance that this one reminds me of the most is Isimiyaki Pohom uh, but there's also hints of Bulgari Aqua Amara and Clinique Happy because of that tart tangerine note. It's very fresh and the Mandarin Orange is quite prominent throughout um, but there's also uh, like a herbal quality that lurks in the background when the sage and the vetiver fuse together. There's also an aquatic bitterness to the scent, but everything together just makes for a really fresh and energising aroma. And if you're looking for a, a cheap deep sea aquatic, then this is a great shout. It's got really good performance too, and uh, it projects really well for a couple of hours, and it'll stick around for a good eight hours if you apply it, uh, a couple of sprays on your clothes. I tested all of these uh, just last night, I sprayed them all on tester strips, and then when I went back to the tester strips this morning, they were all still, uh, still on there, so definitely last if you're going to spray them on clothes. Okay, next up we've got one called Tonic Impact. And this one is uh, more of a green and herbal freshie with prominent notes of bergamot, geranium and patchouli. This one reminds me quite a bit of Bleecker Street by uh, Bond Number no. 9 because you get uh, lots of citrusy freshness up top but there's also plenty of earthy patchouli that comes through which blends with the herbaceous geranium and you get a fairly green smelling fragrance that's very bright and airy. It's got a, a crisp freshness like breathing in cold air outdoors and this is one that would be great to wear as an office scent in the warmer months of the year. Further into the dry down I can pick up on a slight similarity to Baccarat Rouge 540 but this is definitely not a clone of that one and it's only like a passing resemblance when I catch a waft of it. I really like this one, it smells very interesting and you get that kind of expensive niche fragrance feel about it. Okay, the third one in the collection is called Wild Coolness. 
and this one is probably the most soapy fresh one out of the four and even though grapefruit cardamom and benzoin are listed as the official notes this one is a neroli bomb and it's packed with white florals we're kind of talking tom ford neroli portofino levels of soapiness in here there's some sparkling grapefruit in the opening and also a light herbal accord which is cool and breezy but it quickly fades uh, then the neroli takes over and it becomes a, a crisp and clean aromatic summer fresh fragrance that smells like you've been sat in the bath for three hours and then just put on a, a starched white shirt it's a very modern and unisex smelling fragrance and if you like the, your neroli type of fragrances then you can't go wrong with this one and for under 18 quid a bottle it's, a, it's an absolute steal and finally the last one goes by the name of Radiant Bloom this one is described on the Zara website as a fresh fruity floral with prominent notes of bergamot, jasmine and guayacord this one is the most uh, unique and interesting one of the four and it's the jasmine that I'm smelling the most in this it's the sweetest of all the four uh, but there's also plenty of freshness from the bergamot and then there's like this fizzy like carbonated sweet fruitiness and the best way that I can describe it smelling it's like um, one of those fancy flavoured gins that you get in one of these trendy gin bars I don't really get anything in the way of like floral notes as such uh, or any woodiness for that matter but it's the jasmine that does provide the sweetness a more of a fruity sweetness rather than a floral one so it doesn't lean feminine in any way it's a, a really ple uh, pleasant and versatile casual scent for the daytime and I'd say this edge is closest to maybe be more like a blue uh, designer fragrance than the others but it's definitely not like a, a Bleu de Chanel or a, a Dior Sauvage clone yeah so in summary uh, for less than 80 quid you get four different interpretations of summer fresh scents which all have decent performance considering the price and that they're all fresh citrus aromatics my favourites out of the line are the Radiant Bloom and the Tonic Impact because they're the most unique and interesting. I do like the other two uh, but these are more like gen on the generic side. The Infinite Wave is nice uh, but it's just a little bit too much like Issey Miyake pour on for me uh, which I've already got in my collection so I would, I would probably tend to grab that one over this one. Uh, but if you don't own the Issey Miyake then this one is definitely worth trying. And finally the wild coolness is my least favourite but that's only because I'm personally not like the biggest fan of Neroli and it's got nothing to do with the quality of the scent. If you like, uh, if you do like the note of Neroli I'd say definitely give it a try because the soapiness on that one is uh, off the chart. The collection as a whole is really decent quality for the price that you pay and I'm really looking forward to trying out future chapters. Hopefully the uh, next one will be darker fragrances with notes like tobacco, leather, oud and maybe musk perhaps. Yes, yeah, so once again that's about it for this episode featuring these latest ones from Zara. But don't forget, coming up this week, I've got another brand new release to talk about. And I've also got a stunning, and I mean stunning, fragrance from Switzerland to talk about that I received just as a sample, and I just thought I'd give it a quick spray. When I sprayed it, it was magical, so I've, I've ordered a full bottle, and I'll be reviewing that at some point this week. I've also got a first look at Clone House KDJ Inspired, so keep your eyes peeled for those. It's going to be uh, some exciting stuff. Also, if this is the first time to the channel, and you've found this uh, today, Today's video useful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe so once again thank you very much for tuning into this latest episode stay safe keep smelling fresh and I'll see you very soon for another one bye bye for now